It truly is tough to make it in the world of football, but imagine those households who have not one but two superstars, that two in successive generations. These truly are the unicorns of world football. So, here's looking at seven of the best father-son duos in football. The Thurums. Let's start with a story that is yet to oh, truly so develop. <laughs> world Cup winner. Lillian Thuram was a rock at the back for Juventus and the French national side being pivotal in their 1998 World Cup triumph. While he was an exceptional defender, his sons have made their name in more advanced areas. Lillian's elder son, Marcus Thuram, is finding his footing in Inter Milan as a strike partner to Lautaro Martinez after impressing for Gladbach in the Bundesliga. He was once asked if he felt the pressure of being the son of Lillian Thuram, and he said, No, never, because I saw my dad as my dad, not as the soccer player. Perhaps that's why he continues to succeed in the world of football. What's more? His younger brother Kefren is making strides at Nice as a midfielder. After coming agonizingly close to a move to Liverpool, Kefren got injured at the worst possible time, but in due course he is sure to get a big move and make his name at a Champions League club. The Maldinis. There aren't many stories of three generations being involved in the top level of football, but that is how it has panned out for the Maldinis. It all started with Cesare Maldini as he featured over 300 times for his beloved AC Milan as a defender. He passed the mantle to his son Paolo Maldini, who became arguably the greatest defender in Italian history, winning the Champions League or European Cup as it was called for a section of his career five times. Interestingly, in 2001, there came a time when Cesare Maldini, the manager, worked with club captain Paolo Maldini in what would be a truly special occasion for the Maldini family, who have been lifelong AC Milan fans. Finally, Paolo's son, Daniel Maldini, turned out for AC Milan in 2020 and remains on their books on loan at Empoli. Talk about footballing heritage. The Schmeichels. Sons often idealize their fathers, but not many follow their father's footsteps to the latter. Casper Schmeichel not only played football, but also opted to become a goalie to follow his legendary dad, Peter Schmeichel. And who here needs the introduction of Peter Schmeichel? Perhaps the greatest Premier League keeper of all time, he won five league titles and one Champions League medal with United and was part of a Danish side that won the Euros in 1992. And while Casper never reached the heights of his father, he had a Premier League career that many would envy, including being part of the Leicester side that defied all odds to win the Premier League in one of the greatest feel-good stories in recent football history. He currently plays for Anderlecht in the Belgian League after a spell in France with Nice and continues to be the Numdaz one for his country Denmark. Yeah, try and pick his foot. Wonderful save. The Simeons. Diego Simeone is one of the world's best managers whose name has recently become synonymous with Atletico Madrid. He is the longest serving manager in La Liga, having been at Atleti since 2011. But before his managerial success, he was an accomplished midfielder for the likes of Inter Milan, Lazio, as well as the Argentinian national side. And to continue his legacy, all of his three sons, Giovanni, Gianluca, and Giuliano, are playing professional football. The most notable one, of course, is Giovanni Simeone, who has proved to be a competent striker in Serie A, proving to be an adequate num.2 for Victor Osimhen at Napoli. When Diego was asked about his son Giovanni, he said that he would never sign his son, as having his son in the locker room would be tough for both him and his son. The Alonzos in a typical scenario where the son ends up surpassing his father, we have Miguel Angel Perico Alonso and Zabi Alonso. Perico Alonso was a competent midfielder in his own right being a cult hero for Sociedad as he won three La Liga titles with Sociedad and Barcelona. And while his son Miguel Alonso also played more than 100 times for Sociedad, the legacy of a certain Zabi Alonso surpasses that of his father. Playing for top European clubs like Real Madrid, Bayern, and Liverpool, he won two Champions League titles and league titles in Germany. The Hollands, Alpha Inga Holland, was an industrious player turning up in defense for Nottingham Forest, Leeds, and Man City before the infamous ill-fated Roy Keane tackle effectively ended his career prematurely. But during his stay in Leeds, his kid Erling was born who would end up far surpassing his father's legacy. 
The Man City forward has already helped the citizens win the Champions League and might well be on his way to winning the Ballon d'Or as he moves from strength to strength. Alfie would surely be a proud dad seeing his son dominate world football. The Chiesas. Enrico Chiesa was a respected figure in Italian football in the 90s as he remained a consistent goal scorer for the likes of Fiorentina and Parma. He managed 17 appearances for his country scoring seven times and was a part of the 1998 World Cup squad for his country. His son, Federico, has carried his father's name perfectly and is one of the most exciting talents in the Italian game and continues to impress for Juve and the Italian national side. While he has had his fitness issues on his day, he can outperform most attackers in Serie A. So there it is, our list of the seven best father-son duos in the world of football. Who did we miss? And which young starlet would soon make their father proud? Let us know in the comments below.